actually it was quite handy. He was actually a ukulele maker, and he wanted to uh, show you a model, try to do it by himself. He needed actually the help with the design. He actually had a, a really long galley kitchen. I mean, it was like a bowling alley. It was really, really long. He actually had a seating area that was actually in the area where he wanted the refrigerator. And what he needed really was for us to design the kitchen for him. Uh, he wanted a island with an attached dining table. And how would that work? How would that look? So, you know, by asking us to come out and help, we not only were able to have him figure out what the space was, but also what it would look like after it got done um, being built. So some of the materials that uh, he chose to actually put in the kitchen, he went for cabinets. He chose a semi-custom line by Canyon Creek. This is a unique line um, amongst many lines that we actually have. We have um, 11 cabinet brands for him to actually choose from. But this particular brand suited him well. It was a frameless cabinet. It's a light, natural maple. And one of the reasons why we chose this particular brand was because he was asking for a lot of unique things that actually Canyon Creek can actually do. As an example, they can actually go ahead and um, just make face frames and doors to cover pockets of space that he wants to just enclose to actually look exactly like the rest of the kitchen. He chose natural stone and he chose natural stone over a lot of different countertops that we can actually provide, quartz being the number one surface that people ask us for. Um, we also carry laminates and acrylics. But natural stone actually offers up some things that actually quartz has a hard time reproducing. Um, it actually uh, natural stone actually had quite elegance about it and it actually because it's natural it can actually bring a lot of different colors together uh, that we find very very hard sometimes to find in quartz. For other features in the kitchen um, such as his plumbing fixtures, uh, mainly his faucet. One of the things that was unique about the faucet that he chose he wanted a fixed faucet and also he wanted a, a, a longer commercial spraying arm that he could actually use to do a lot of other things in the kitchen, you know, to actually clean and actually spray down things. He also put in a under counter built-in microwave that could actually, it's a drawer microwave that actually can pull out and can actually drop down things into it. And also split off his cooking appliances. So he actually did a induction cooktop and a waist height oven in the corner. And the hood, this is actually kind of an interesting piece. The hood, this is a, a kitchen that I will refer to many times because actually the homeowner actually decided to do this because he built this. In order for the flue not to look so tall in this open beam ceiling, he actually dropped down a chase to actually receive the hood in so then that way it wouldn't look so tall. For the flooring, he chose a natural uh, wood engineered floor. Um, it is a nice product because it actually has a natural floor element to it, but also the engineered part of it, which is the plywood subfloor underneath actually adds for stability. The color is unique in the tiger wood because it actually has a lot of variation in it, and it actually provides contrast but also because the floor has a lot of different colors in it, it can actually draw different colors to actually help compose the kitchen better.